Hey everyone, my name's Katie. I'm a first grade teacher and this is my realistic morning routine. When my alarm goes off at six o'clock in the morning, I quietly get out of bed so my husband does not wake up and then I walk into our master bath area. The first thing I usually do is put my contacts in in the morning so I can see. After I have my contacts in, then I get my hairbrush out and brush my hair just to see what we're working with this morning. After I've done those two things, I head into the kitchen. I always start every morning off with a cup of ice water just to make sure I'm staying hydrated throughout the day. So I get an old Auburn Stadium cup and I fill it with just about four ice cubes just to get the water chilled. And then I fill it up with some water. And then I take that cup of water with me into our guest bathroom, which is where I do most of my getting ready in the morning. I always start by turning my straightener on, that way it will be heated and ready to go by the time I need it. And then I get to work on my water and my makeup. I use the CoverGirl foundation. I'm not a makeup expert, but I will show you the things that I use in case you are interested. I do just very basic makeup routine. So I use that CoverGirl foundation and then a beauty blender. I get it wet and then I just use it to kind of blend that in all over my face. Again, I go for the super easy and simple makeup routine. So I use a CoverGirl powder. And I just use that to kind of put lightly over the foundation that I just used just to kind of smooth my face and even it a little bit, but it's not a whole lot of makeup if we're being honest. After that, I use the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I just kind of rub some of that on my eyelids and rub it in and then I'm ready for my eyeshadow. It really does help my eyeshadow stay on during the day. I love to use neutral eyeshadow palettes, so right now I'm using this one by Revlon. I like when the colors are just there. It tells you where to put it on your eyelids, and so I just do that exact thing, and I copy what they put on the back and do that on my eyes. Once I'm finished with my eyeshadow, I use CoverGirl Black eyeliner. It's kind of like an eyeliner crayon. I just put a little bit on the bottom and then I use it up at the top to outline my lash line. Not a whole lot there. And then I use this Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I've been using this one for a while and I really like how it makes my eyelashes look. So I put that on the top and then I also use a little bit on the bottom lashes. At this point, I'm finished with my makeup. I try to make sure that I'm still working on that cup of water so I'm done by the time I leave the house and I get started with hair. One thing I've started this new year is I've been trying to wash my hair every other night instead of washing it every night. So this is one of my off days. I had washed and straightened it the night before. So this morning, I'm just using some dry shampoo in places where I see that it's gotten a little bit oily. So I just put that in my hair and then I kind of shake it out to work it into my hair a little bit. Then I just use my straightener to touch up any pieces that have not stayed straight or become frizzy or just look a mess from my night's sleep. After I've done the front of my head, I use my mirror just to check the back and see if there are any pieces that are looking crazy or super wavy on the back of my head. So I just try to straighten those the best I can, and I know it's not going to be perfect, but it's close enough. And then after that, I make sure I take my women's vitamins in the morning, just a multivitamin that I got from Costco. And then I take my water back into the kitchen with me so I can keep working on it while I fix my lunch. First thing I do is get out all of the things that I will need. So my lunchbox from the freezer, because it's got a built-in ice pack in it. Then I take out my water bottle that I chilled the night before and then anything I'm going to put in my lunch. So like my apple and then today I am just packing some leftovers. So I took out the container of leftovers. 
I try to use plastic containers as much as I can while I'm packing. So I get out all that Tupperware and go ahead and scoop my lunch in. Sometimes I prep my lunch the night before or I prep them on Sundays for the whole week. But in this case, I just had some yummy leftovers that I was really feeling. So I made that instead. Next, I take my apple over to the sink and go ahead and wash it off. I pack an apple in my lunchbox literally every single day and I always use my apple slicer to slice it and then I either put it in a Tupperware if I have space in a Tupperware or I try to close the apple back up and keep it in a Ziploc. I feel like this really helps it stay nice and not get as brown, but it's still in slices because I have to have it in those slices to eat it. So I put that in my lunchbox. And then I always put my water bottle on top because this is my water that I have after lunch at school. Then I put that on the kitchen table so it's ready to go for later. Now I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. Today I'm rocking a teacher tee with some jeans and some rain boots. So it was a Friday and we went casual. I'm super excited because it was a new teacher tee. I go ahead and get my jewelry ready, my rings, and my Apple Watch while I'm in the bedroom. Then I come back to the kitchen to get started with my breakfast. I've really been enjoying English muffins lately, so I have these Thomas ones that are like cinnamon with some kind of whey protein in them, and then I use peanut butter to put in the middle. This is a super easy breakfast, but it's also very delicious and very filling for me. I take my breakfast with me over to the couch, and this is the point in my morning where I sit down and have my quiet time. I still work on that water, but I'm also pulling out my Bible study, which is a daily Grace Co. Bible study. And in this specific one, we're learning about the message of the entire Bible and like the importance of scripture. So we were reading from Exodus this morning. So I take my time to just read through my Bible, pray, finish up my breakfast, and really get my day started on a positive note. Afterwards, I come back and I put my dishes in the dishwasher so we can keep that sink nice and clean. Finally, now that I'm done with breakfast, I come back into our bathroom and go ahead and brush my teeth. I've been using a fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. I really like the ivory cashmere. That's been my scent lately. So I go ahead and use that and then I come back into the kitchen for one final touch to pack my corksicle water bottle because that's the first water bottle that I will drink while I'm at school. So I put a couple ice cubes in there and this corksicle really keeps it nice and cold. I pack my corksicle in the side of my school backpack and then I make sure my laptop is packed as well. It was pretty cold today for Florida, so I have an extra flannel layer and then I have my big coat to make sure I stay warm on my drive. Then I get my backpack and my lunchbox and I am ready to head out the door. I've gotta make sure I get my keys and then I get my teacher lanyard with my doorbell and my keys on it. And of course, pick up a clean mask. Then I am ready to head out of the apartment and start my morning drive. I actually really enjoy my drive in the morning. It's just some quiet me time, even though it's super dark outside right now. I just put my things in the back of my car and then I get ready to go. No morning drive is complete without my Christian radio. I always listen to the Way FM in the morning. I love the Wally show, and so that gets me in a really good mood.
Then, of course, since today is Friday, I make a quick stop on the way to pick up my Dunkin' drink just to treat myself for making it through the week. I usually order an iced coffee with two cream and then French vanilla swirl. That's my typical go-to, unless they have some kind of deal where I can get bonus points by trying another drink or if they are out of any of my favorites. At this point, I've made it to school, so I say hello to our super friendly crosswalk guard and then come to my classroom. I always have half of the lights on already in my classroom, so I just turn on the other half so my table area and my desk area is well lit. And then I start to put all of my things away. I slide my lunchbox underneath my desk so it's kind of out of the way and make sure I put my first cup of water on my desk so I remember to drink it throughout the day. Then I put my backpack out of sight, out of mind, and my mints from the cross guard in the jar. Then I start to take off my layers because the heater is always pumping in my classroom when it is cold outside. So I just hang those things on my teacher chair. I've got to get my desktop computer turned on, the smart board turned on, and of course our pretty Christmas lights turned on. And then I finally get to stir my iced coffee and enjoy. That first sip feeling is a great feeling. Again, here was my teacher outfit for the day, my Friday casual with my rain boots. And then I spend the rest of my time before the kiddos get here, finishing up any tasks that I still have left to do. I hope you enjoyed my realistic teacher morning routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content.